All right, on your mark, get set, trot. Uh, what do you know, as it's one of the best Thanksgiving Day traditions in the Quad Cities, it's here for its 38th year, and TV6's Caleb Page is live near the route of the 2024 Turkey Trot. And Caleb, are you stretching, getting loose? Are you ready to trot out there? Yeah, good morning, Dustin. You know, I won't be doing any trotting myself, no. However, I prefer to be more of a spectator. However, there are thousands of runners who do flock from over half of the United States to come for and take part in this annual Quad Cities Thanksgiving Day tradition. And joining me now to talk more about that is Taylor Bly, Director of Communications and Marketing with YMCA Davenport. Thank you for joining me this morning. Good morning, Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> now, isn't, isn't it a nice, you know, just a nice, beautiful, temperate is. morning? Absolutely. Now, this is the 38th year of the YMCA presenting this event. Um, what does it mean? to you to be able to connect families and friends and the community in this kind of way on this special holiday? I mean, uh, what could be better than running on Thanksgiving Day, you know? It gets you, it gets your morning started off real nice, gets your day started off real nice before you get into family th festivities and everything like that. We've got lots of families who come out and do the turkey trot every year together as a family tradition and everything like that. Um, it's and that's sort of what the YMCA is all about and everything. Um, we love putting this event on. You know, we've got people who've been here since 2 in the morning getting the, you know, course together and everything like that. Um, and we're really excited to get this roll in. Absolutely. It's looking, it's coming together very well. Now, this is the YMCA's biggest uh, fundraiser of the year. Tell me more about that and that initiative. What goal are you all hoping <laughs> goal are you all hoping to achieve this year? So, um, this is the YMCA's biggest fundraiser, like you said. Um, essentially, what this is, is uh, the way that our race director, Lewis, sort of uh, puts it is, this is how we send kids to Camp Abe Lincoln who maybe didn't get the opportunity. Um, we've got some fantastic sponsors like McCarthy Bush, uh, Rhythm City, Unity Point, they're all sponsoring races here. And because of our awesome sponsors, uh, every registration that goes to the Turkey Trot goes back into supporting you know, kids. It goes back to getting kids to camp, youth sports, all of that stuff. Uh, we use this as a way to sort of uh, subsidize a lot of uh, people who may not have opportunities otherwise to do some of the things that the YMCA has. Absolutely. And now tell me more about that. There, there is still time for people who are at home who may want to come take part. Tell me more about registration and what do they need to know? Absolutely. We are keeping registration open um, up until race time. We go right down to the very last minute on all of this. Um, eight o'clock is when the first uh, races start. We've got the kids races at eight. We've got the uh, one mile fun run at 830. And then we've got the five mile and the 5k actually run simultaneously starting at 9 and we will keep those registrations open up until 8 o'clock so if you're interested in coming out we will be open we are ready for you awesome excited it's gonna be an exciting morning here thank you so much for joining me this morning taylor all right and you heard it again you can come out and join in there is registration is still open okay live in davenport kayla page tv6 news all right, Kayla, thank you. Now for more information about registration and packet pickup, it's on our website.